Hello survivors and welcome to We Who Survive. My name is James and today we are going to be starting up episode 10 of Starfield. So we're going to start right away with collecting our two artifacts that we're supposed to collect because I believe actually as of right now this is the primary story mission anyway. So let us get a move on. Right, here we are in Procyon or Procyon or whatever the heck that is. I'm not 100% sure how you pronounce that. And we are to land at Unexplored Geophysical Feature. Galix Green, ready to land. Sick. Here we are. Oh, you know what? Actually, before we get started, I still have a level up to take. This is just from the last episode, I guess. Um, so, with that said, I I sat there and I just did the same weapon. I just modded a barrel on and off multiple times. And uh, that's how I got my five upgrades. So, now we can take rank two of weapon engineering, however. So, that's good. And... Uh, uh, oh, extreme planetary radiation. All right, well, I don't think there's actually a whole lot I can do about that besides just get through it. So let's get the heck over there. I don't even want to check that ship out, bro. The ships are usually lame. It's usually, yeah, it's usually not worth whatever you're checking. That's all I can say. Sometimes they're fun. And then I guess if you take those ships, the landed ships, like basically any ships you hijack, I guess, um, sounds like they're really likely to glitch your world. Like some people, they get back and the whole city of New Atlantis is gone. I find pretty hilarious. Yep. I just, uh, wanted to be sure that wasn't something I could grab resource wise. And it was not. Very low gravity on this planet. Which honestly makes it sort of a blast to jetpack through. I wish I had a better jetpack, but that's on me. Rock pile instead of a dung pile, because there's apparently zero creatures on this planet. Europium, that's a strange mineral, or a strange element. Let's go get our freaking thing. There's probably not even anything to kill, dude. Alright, I don't suspect, in all honesty, that there's going to be anything to kill. So this is probably going to be mostly me resource hunting. Yeah, there's some things. Helium-3, apparently. Alright. I know, I know. Probably just picked up another cough. I definitely picked up more burns. I got frostbite somehow. I'm suffering being burnt and frostbitten. I don't know how that happens. Ah, okay. Apparently I only have this antibiotic paste I just made, but... Good thing I made it. Serving its purpose, for sure. Alright, let's get the heck out of here to our, uh... Here's our artifact, people. Whoa, what are you? We got Starborn already? Alright, well I guess they're gonna be at the artifacts now, too. He wasn't that bad, though. He wasn't that bad, though. Alright, come on. Give me the artifact, please. And let's get the heck out of here.
Bink. All right, well, now that we have that artifact, we can theoretically go to Temple Tau and get its power, whatever that is, but we have to go talk to Vladimir, and I guess he lets us know where the temples are, and yada, yada, yada. All right, new world. Hailing unknown vessel, colonists here in distress. We're, oh, thank you for responding. We had someone jump in and leave without even saying hi. We're with, uh, List, and we're just trying to get to our new home. But our grav drive is old, like really old, and I'm afraid it's giving up the ghost. Um, what's List? The League of Independent Settlers. They helped us choose a new home, outfitted us, and gave us some good advice. But, uh... Once you head out, you're kind of on your own. Okay, so you're stranded. And we're just two jumps away from starting a new life. We have a workbench here, but we need just common old iron. A lot of it. Then we should be able to jury-rig some repairs. Any chance you have some? We'll pay loads more than the iron's actually worth. I don't know, do I have enough? You're in luck, I have the iron you need. Is that true? That should do us. Okay. Thank you. And this should cover the iron, and then some. We'll be heading out hopefully shortly. All right, there you go. I guess I'm Mr. Nice Guy. They sort of always want you to be Mr. Nice Guy in this game, so what the heck, why not? All right, let's go freaking. let's go land, eh? This one's a deserted listening post? I guess so. I'm gonna say there's like a 90% chance there's enemies there. I did this last week, I should remember. But, I mean, yeah, uh, I don't know. I did a lot last week that didn't get recorded, unfortunately. But look at how pretty this is. Actually, well, the aliasing was sort of ruining it. I don't know, that planet's got sort of an uncanny look to it. Like, it looks really good and really bad at the same time, but the reflection of light, that does look sick. Looked really good. Yeah, with the depth of field in there, bro. Look at that. Oh, you can barely see. All right, what if I go in photo mode? Alright, I wanted to snap a pic. I got a wide panoramic shot. I'll analyze it later and see if I like it or not, but let's get to our artifact, Andresia. It just keeps sending us to barren moons, basically, I guess. Hey, there's neon here. I need neon for stuff. Like, I actually need neon. Yeah, here we are. What is this? Oh. Alright, well that sounds weird, but it's not really bothering me, I guess. Hi, Pirate Freebooter. Let's go. Yeah, I was gonna say, detected by who? They're dead. Well, I guess there could be more people down below. Delgado's directive? I think I've already heard that. Whoa. That actually goes crazy for a maelstrom. Yeah, that does 28 damage. That's actually pretty crazy for a maelstrom, to be honest. But 
but it weighs full weight so i don't know i'll take it for now see if maybe when we get some weapon mods we can make it worth using i'll keep it around Alright, I guess we're probably the only ones out here. Whoa, okay, but they do have mines. They always have mines, and I always forget they exist. Fair play. Okay, let's get in there. There's definitely going to be more pirates, so at least we get to kill something. Oh, yeah, they're close, too. Chunks employee handbook. Hi, people. Can you not see me, please? Drumbeat, those are good to sell. Do you actually have any interesting books? The Gravity Paradigm. That might be interesting to read in real life. Okay, so what do we have going on here? Heavy particle fuse, anything interesting? Not really. Oh, we got people down here. All right, let's go then, people down here. Where are you at? Oh, what? Where the heck are you shooting me from behind? Did you notice that? They added the very minor cover system that they had in Fallout 4 finally. So now you can like slightly peek out. It's not really good or controllable, but... Dang! That dude had three health bars, but he was level two, so my shotgun just whacked him in one headshot anyway. Sick. Oh! What was that, dog? What the heck was that? Oh, I see. There's these yellow canisters. We're gonna have to take some shotgun training. I'm getting too used to using this thing. I love it. This thing is so great. Just clears everything so easy. Menu for the week, you got this. Going off for... I'm going off world next week. Oh, okay, so then... Yeah, you can pause and read that if you want, but... Somebody just left uh, their backup cook while they were gone. Their menu for the week. That's pretty cute, I guess. Alright, so where now? We cleared out all these punks. Hey, look, there's a vent. And there's a safe. I'm glad I came back here. I normally don't come back to, like, weird places like this. The fruit cellar? I sort of want to actually read that now to see why, like, why did they put it in there? What's the significance? There has to be significance. Where does this vent lead? 
Oh wait, this is an emergency door. What is going on? They're just trying to confuse me. All right, let's go this way, I guess. That's actually pretty neat. There's more? I mean, I'm glad. Let's go. Should use a different weapon just to mix it up. Hey, I, I haven't been using this, but I got some white hot rounds now. Just play with it now with the freaking pirates. Why not? Okay, our artifact's down there, so I guess that's probably where the people are. Hey, yo! Reactive shock troop spacesuit. Something tells me it's gonna suck, but. Whoa. Okay, that is far from sucking. That is actually amazing. We are gonna take that. How much weight does that leave us? Sure, we'll pick up your maelstrom then. All right, we have a new suit. Am I even wearing my suit? Oh yeah, look at the difference there, boys. So now we're gonna look a bit like a pirate. But hey, it actually goes a little bit better with our helmet too, look. Like not color scheme, but I don't know, overall look. All right, I'll take it, I'm happy. I'm not gonna question too much after that then. Space adept pacifier? Yeah, no thank you. I mean, I'll take it, but we're just gonna sell that baby. All right, now last but not least, what's in here? Digipick, ionic liquid, silver. Oh, we're over encumbered. Crap, I think I keep forgetting to drop off my resources and that's why we're over encumbered. But that's okay, I think we've pretty much got what we need now. I'll have to eat or drink or drop something in order to fast travel, but that's not a big deal. Hey, it's so nice when they start you off with one right away like that. All right, that time things were much smoother. Oh, a lock behind the lock. Come on, guys. What are we doing here? Uh, oh, they were probably mostly hiding away that spacesuit, but honestly, it's sort of crap not that great so let's go actually grab our artifact now people I, I keep forgetting I guess this is gonna happen every time now sick I wonder what that quantum essence is that it keeps saying we get. Ah, 
All right. Got another artifact. I think we have to go to the lodge about it. That's pretty much how that always goes. Yep, add the artifacts to the collection. Got some cool stuff out of this one though. And we did a little bit of murder. So this one wasn't bad. I wish and hope more artifacts are like this. Instead of just going and picking them up from empty freaking caves. They're not quite enjoying New Atlantis, but this. Welcome back to the lodge. I want to stop and see if I can research because I just bought a bunch of materials that I needed for research. Like a bunch in quantity, not in variation, I guess, but. Hey, we got helmet mods one done. We need spacesuit design to take helmet mods too, unfortunately, but... Wait, okay, now be careful. I only have so much tungsten. Oh, dude, internal mods. I won't be able to finish this, I don't think. But, like, heck yeah, I want it. Oh, no way. Dang, I got the internal mods. That's actually sick. Alright, we got optic and laser mods one. Not that we're gonna have any neon, but oh man, this is coming together. We're getting so much research. Just actually buying some stuff helped. What is that? Grip and stock mods two. Look at us boys, we're coming together. I wonder if there's any meaningful things I can do now. Probably not. Hey, yes, actually, because look, I could put hair trigger on the Ashta Tamer, which I can't really because I don't have the things to do it, but you know. Holy crap, I can give Elegance an extended barrel that basically turns it into a mini sniper rifle. An extra two pounds of weight. Gives you a little bit more accuracy and slightly more range. But it's already got more range than you'd expect. So I think for right now at this moment, we'll keep it nice and light. What about this though? Is there anything I can do with this thing? Alright, it doesn't seem as though there's anything actually meaningful I can do at the moment. I will have to do some back and forth modding just to get to the next level again so we can take Weapons Engineering 3, um, but I'll do that at a different time. Alright people, I'm back with freaking artifacts. Look at how far we've come. It's all becoming so overwhelming. The Starborn, the artifact visions, the music. Is it all worth it? Mateo, are you? Having a crisis of faith? You? What if the Starborn are right? What if our hunt for the artifacts is a fool's errand, doomed to failure and catastrophe? You think we're doing the wrong thing? We just want answers. Isn't that why we all joined in the first place? The noble quest of discovery? Um, yeah, we can't abandon now, dude. Agreed. We should not abandon our mission when things become difficult. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to shame either of you. Blame the workings of a worried mind. I just hope that this journey doesn't turn us into something that we wouldn't recognize from where we are now. Hate to interrupt, but I have a favor to ask. Lot of equipment on the eye has reached the span's end. If we're going to find more artifacts further out, we need work done. Got the nods and signs from Sarah and Walter for the materials, but I need hands. Alright, dude. Happy to help. Won't be going alone. Need more than just the you and I. Ask around. A few constellations are already on their way up. Thanks, dude. What's a Neurajack? You see that? 
Said I got two Nura Jack. That's got to be in here, right? Research projects require fewer resources for 10 minutes and plus 50% chance of research sudden development. Sick. Hey, stranger. Can you get a moment? Let's chat talk? sometime, okay? Oh my gosh, everyone wants to talk. See you on the eye. What's up, Bear? Anything that gets us closer to more artifacts. You don't even want to talk. You're something else. All right, I gotta go drop some stuff off at my infinite storage locker, and then uh, we'll take our level. Okay, time for a level up, and we're obviously not taking weapon engineering this time. So, what are we taking, people? All right, I would like to take shotgun certification, but I think for story and talking purposes to make things a little easier, we're actually gonna take persuasion, which is something we sort of desperately need. I mean, we could take a lot of drugs too, and we will, but just having this base percent is good. And then I have a feeling that might tie into outposts later, although I could definitely be wrong because I haven't done anything with outposts yet. Okay, anything weird going to happen as we enter the system? No, no weirdness. Hey, who are you? Trader Aphis? I want to hail you, dog. Hold up. How do I hail? I forget. Trade authority at your service. Looking for something? Yeah, let's trade. Oh. No, they've got resources and probably some pretty good ones, but I was hoping for a crazy weapon or something. You people suck. I should take you out for that. This is a pretty strange looking one, that's for sure. Iron, I need my iron back, so. Yeah, I think I gave up like 20 iron. Oh, and there's uranium, dog. Oh, this planet's lit. Look at all the resources. I'm so lit right now. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, is that the... No, I think that's just an anomaly. Oh, all right, there's our temple. So I have to get all the way up and out there. And yeah, I guess I'll see you when I get there because it looks like just fields of nothing until the frickin', all right. Temple Zeta, sick, dude. We found the last letter in the alphabet. All right, here we go with the dog and pony show again. You people know how it goes. Not that it's not cool, it's just that it is the same thing every time. All right, let's go. All right, power me up, Scotty, let's go. I 
wonder if all the budget went into making those sequences. Power do we get? Grav dash. Manipulate gravity, propel yourself forward, and briefly increase damage. Alright, I don't think we're gonna test it out on this dude. Yeah, we're just gonna go the good old fashioned way here, but. <laughs> he drops like a rock. What a dummy. You know. Maybe the powers are a bit much. Because I'm like half his level, and these very starborn that are supposed to be like probably the hardest thing in the game, besides maybe the terramorphs. They just go down like nothing with the anti gravity, dude. Daniel McHugh, I think, asked somebody asked in the comments, what do I think of the powers? Well, I guess considering how clear and like easy it is that I can just destroy starborn twice my level. They might be a little overpowered, but, uh, yeah, so it goes. All right, let's test out Grav Dash, though. What the heck is that? Whoa. Okay, so is it just one dash? Okay, now I do increased damage, it says, but how far do I actually go? What happens? All right, maybe I'm wrong, but unless you're doing a significant amount of more damage after, which I guess they're not going to show you on your weapon stats, that seems pretty useless. Couldn't you just, like, boost pack? Grav... What is this? This is so dumb and useless. Manipulate gravity to propel itself forward and briefly increase damage. Okay, I don't know what... Something tells me that's one we're never gonna use, but uh, so it is, and yes, it exists. All right, well, what a sort of disappointment on that one. Okay, all right, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. What the hell, man? I try, I really try. It's this game, it's like it fights you to be entertaining sometimes. I don't know. Sometimes it's entertaining because of how scuffed it is though, so that's good. <laughs>